After shaping the root canal, select a master cone that closely matches the apical size. Insert the selected gutta percha point. Make sure that the selected gutta percha fits snugly in the canal and establish that there is a tug back at its apical extent. Take an x-ray to verify the fit. It is very important to select the appropriate diapen tip that most closely matches the size of the prepared canal. To select the appropriate tip, try inserting each size tip one by one. The purpose of this is to measure the length of the canal. Select the largest tip which can be inserted three to five millimeters from the apex. Once the appropriate tip is selected, move and set the endo stop according to the measured length. To select an appropriate size for the hand plugger, insert the hand plugger and match it to the diapen tip size. Coat the fitted master cone with sealer and insert the cone repeatedly into the canal two to three times. This will help eliminating any gaps between the gutta percha and the surface of the canal. Turn on diapen by pressing the power button. Place pen tip in the orifice of the canal and activate diapen by pressing the operation button. Using the activated pen tip, cut the gutta percha cone. It takes less than one second to reach the set temperature once the operation button is pressed. Be careful not to come in direct contact with the tip, which may be extremely hot. After cutting the master cone, use the selected hand plugger to condense the softened material. Place the endo stop on the pen tip one millimeter shorter than the pre-measured working length. Insert and advance the heated pen tip to condense the gutta percha to within three to four millimeters of the binding point. Soften gutta percha cone material will fill the root canal. Release the operation button. Push and hold the cooled pen tip. Packing down and applying pressure to the melted gutta percha ensures all the lateral and accessory canals are filled. Reheat the pen tip by pressing the operation button for half a second. Then, release the operation button to allow the pen tip to begin cooling, while at the same time, wiggle the unit and remove the tip quickly from the canal. The tip will carry and remove the coronal mass of gutta percha, leaving the apical plug and sealed lateral and accessory canals. Use the hand plugger to condense the remaining gutta percha material. Using Diadent's Dia Gun, press the power button for one to two seconds to activate the unit and to adjust to the desired temperature. Using Dia Gun's tip, make contact with the upper part of the remaining gutta percha material in the canal and transfer heat for three to five seconds to soften the material. Using backfill technique, begin extruding the melted gutta percha obturator so that only two to three millimeters of the canal is filled behind the apical plug. Do not attempt to backfill the entire canal in one shot. After the extruded material fills the backfill space, the back pressure of the extruded gutta percha will move the tip back out of the canal. Slowly withdraw the gun tip from the canal. Take your time. After withdrawing Dia Gun's tip, Use the hand plugger to pack the filled gutta percha material. Repeat the backfilling process using Dia Gun's heated tip to make contact with the upper part of the previously extruded gutta percha obturator. Wait for three to five seconds, allowing the tip to reheat the material. Begin extruding the melted gutta percha obturator two to three millimeters away. Slowly remove Dia Gun's tip. Use the hand plugger again to pack down the melted gutta percha obturator. Repeat this process until the canal is filled completely to the orifice level. Take a post-operative x-ray to check the completion of the obturation.